Advanced Medical Vocabulary, Mastering Rehabilitation and Recovery. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our series on Advanced English Vocabulary. In today's video, we're diving into the fascinating world of medical English, specifically focusing on the topic of rehabilitation and recovery. Whether you're a medical professional looking to improve your English, or an advanced English learner looking to expand your vocabulary, this video is for you. So, let's jump right in. First things first, let's understand what rehabilitation and recovery mean in a medical context. Rehabilitation refers to the actions taken to help a person restore their health or their normal life through training and therapy after an illness, injury, surgery, or substance abuse. Recovery, on the other hand, is the process of returning to a normal state of health, mind, or strength after such events. Remember, both terms imply a process, often requiring time, patience, and professional guidance. Now that we've got our definitions clear, let's move on to some specific vocabulary that falls under this category. 1. Physical therapy, PT. Treatment that uses methods such as heat, cold, exercise, and massage to stimulate the body's healing process. 2. Occupational therapy, OT. Therapy that helps patients regain or develop skills necessary for day-to-day -day life and work. 3. Speech therapy. This type of therapy helps patients improve their communication skills, usually after a speech-impairing event like a stroke. 4. Prognosis. A prediction of the likely course or outcome of a disease or ailment. 5. Remission. A period of time when the symptoms of a disease decrease or disappear. 6. Relapse when symptoms of a disease return after a period of improvement. In this section, let's see how we can use these words in a medical context. 1. The prognosis after his surgery was good, but he still needed a lot of physical therapy to regain his strength. 2. Even though her symptoms were in remission, her doctor was cautious about a potential relapse. Three. He's been undergoing speech therapy to regain his ability to speak after the accident. Remember, learning vocabulary is most effective when you practice using the words in sentences. So try creating your own sentences with these words. Well, there you have it. We've taken a deep dive into the medical English vocabulary associated with rehabilitation and recovery. I hope this video has been informative and helpful. Remember, the key to mastering any vocabulary is consistent practice. So, keep practicing, and you'll soon be fluent in medical English. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next lesson.